Hi Lana, hello and welcome once again. Now, we want to take a look at uh, the most in demand a course here in Kenya, especially within the ICT uh, paradigm, right? Now, we have a number of uh, courses that we have so far looked at, but now we want to understand uh, why cyber security is the most, or rather, is the most marketable and in demand uh, course to pursue here in Kenya. Uh, before we really take a look at why it is uh, so marketable, I'll request that also you have a look at the previous uh, video that we talked about uh, the accredited universities and colleges in Kenya that offer cyber security. Actually, it's this one, right? So maybe take a look and understand which are the universities or other colleges that you can uh, pursue this particular uh, course. Remember, not every university or other college that offers this particular uh, course. Uh, there are those ones that offer the course, but they're not accredited, right? So it might not, uh, people might not uh, recognize your certificate, right? So yes, uh, cyber security, uh, as a matter of fact, is one of the uh, most in demand uh, currently here in Kenya. Uh, reason being, we have a lot of hackings or hackers hacking different applications. Uh, talk about websites, right? and so on. So it places us in, a, in a, a place or another environment that we need to really understand uh, in details how to pursue this particular uh, course. And that's why uh, within my website or other website, I talked about uh, the journey that we need to pursue or rather take when you, are, you want to become a cyber security uh, expert, right? So how then do you start a cyber security career in Kenya? Now, there are a lot of things that you need to factor in uh, for you to be a good cyber security specialist, right? Uh, like, for example, uh, the important steps here is that you need to have a bachelor's degree in computer science, right? So I know some of you normally wonder, can I just pursue a bachelor's degree in cyber security? Uh, of course, that is an option, but it's not the best of the ideas. You need to have a degree that gives you a, a holistic approach. Uh, towards uh, the cyberspace or how you can counter uh, different cyber security problems. Uh, computer science is good because it's going to have an uh, all-rounded approach towards understanding how you can uh, really uh, pursue your cyber security. So that's why we say that it's important that you have a degree in computer uh, science. It will provide you with understanding of how to uh, manage different hardware, softwares, uh, implement different security points, uh, so on. Of course, you'll also understand additional languages such as C++, Java, Node, and so on. So it's going to give you in-depth understanding, right, of the different pro problem-solving uh, skills and so on. So you need to understand also what cybersecurity is. So you need to have a relevant cyber uh, certifications related to cybersecurity, uh, such as maybe Cisco, uh, CCNA security, uh, N plus security, and so on, right? So we want to understand what kind of skills are really required in this particular uh, field. So the top 10 skills that will be required when you are pursuing this particular career or rather when you get a job is problem solving skills. You also need to have some technical aptitude. Also you need to have knowledge of security across various platforms. So here is why I say that you need to have uh, some degree in, com uh, in computer science. Uh, you also need to be attentive to details or pay attention to details. You need to have some fundamental cyber forensic skills. You also need to have some desire to learn. Uh, desire to learn because uh, always we have these security issues that keep on uh, emerging, right? So you need to learn of new uh, ways of how to uh, counter them. Understanding of hacking, you need to also have some ethical uh, hacking skills, right? Uh, of course, some ability to make decisions, very fast decisions, right? So that those are some of the skills that you need to, to uh, really uh, require. And of course, you can see you need to uh, understand or have some clarity in understanding confidentiality issues and related laws. Uh, like right now we have data protection laws. Do you understand what it all entails, right? And so on. Now, uh, again, we need to understand the benefits. And this is ideally why 
you are pursuing this particular course or rather taking this particular career so it's uh, the, uh, the reason as to why uh, at the moment cyber security is in demand is because of the growing opportunities that we have like every organization nowadays they need to have a cyber security expert who is going to ensure that the organization is well protected uh, protected in terms of the information their networks their users right and so on so that at least when the organization is uh, proceeding with their business processes they are free from these particular cyber threats and attacks from hackers and the software based uh, attacks right so some of the career paths that you're likely uh, to uh, pursue are actually uh, the following you can be a security architect so these are the people who are involved in designing and building and managing the implementation of networks right so you can have a holistic approach towards understanding how to uh, implement a security architecture you can also become a cryptographer right these are people who are involved in encrypting sensitive information you should understand uh, how information is transmitted from one point to the other and to encrypt and decrypt it right you can also be a security trainer that's one of the careers uh, when you learn this particular uh, cyber security uh, you also have network security engineers you can become one you can also become penetration tester that's another career that you can pursue uh, within the cyber security field you also have cloud security engineer application security specialist so these are just an area where you specialize with reinforcing security within application now remember when you are developing a software or an, or an application there are kind of design flows that always uh, come by and these particular design flows uh, provide some loopholes that hackers can use uh, into maybe creating this particular kind of attack so as a, an application security specialist you are there to ensure that you eradicate all these particular design flows right you can also become a cyber security generalist right so here you can touch every part of cyber security space a bit hardware uh, applications networks and so on and of course you can become a cyber security engineer right uh, this is closely related to the cyber security architect uh, field and of course you can also have the identity we have the identity and access management engineer ensuring that only authorized users access the various parts of the organization's uh, resources you can also become a malware forensics analyst and of course you can also become incident a response analyst so there are very wide areas that you can always uh, pursue in terms of cyber security so it is up to you to check which particular field within the cyber security space that you can always uh, follow right is it uh, you do you want to be a security architect a cryptographer and so on so there are a lot of opportunities now that there are a lot of attacks that are happening and most organizations are looking for people with the right uh, skills so if you want to enroll for this particular course uh, kindly just check these particular accredited universities uh, uh, colleges in Kenya offering this particular course and you can always enroll all right thanks